So today I'm going to be doing a review of InStyler's Straight Up Straightening Brush. So I got this brush a few weeks ago and I just wanted to try it out honestly and see if it could straighten my hair. So usually when I want to stretch my hair after washing it, I just put it in twists and leave it in for a really long time. Other times I would have twists in my hair and stretch out my hair and hold the blow dryer and like the cool setting onto my hair so that it can stretch out. Um, I found both of these methods to be very tedious and I really wanted something that's just like quick, give me my hair stretched out and let just let me go. The reason why I opted for InStyler as opposed to the other brand is because I've tried InStyler's Roller Flat Iron and that was literally the best flat iron ever. It was just perfect. Like it had a brush on it and, and like a roller piece to it. So it would roll, it would roll like heat onto your hair with the brush at the same time and give you like a silky straight look. This was the time I was relaxed. Um, It was just perfect. So I thought why not give this brush a try with InStyler. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I stretched out my hair with this brush. So here is my hair completely shrunken up. I finished washing it about an hour ago. So I used apple cider vinegar to rinse out my hair and then I used my Shea Moisture Curl and Shine shampoo to wash out my hair. So right now I'm just gonna start moisturizing my hair before I use the straightening brush on so it. So it's good that I let my hair start to dry out because when you're using the brush you don't want your you don't want to use the brush on on wet hair. You don't want to add water to the brush. So this is what my hair looks like when it's completely dry and there's no product in it. So I'm going to start off with the BioSilk Serum on my hair and then I think I'm going to put some of my coconut oil and then the Curl and Style Milk. I'm trying to rub it into my roots. And then I'm going to take the Indian Hemp and put it on top of that. The heat protectant. So I just um, sprayed it in my hands and then I'm rubbing it in my hair. So my hair is not wet. The product has just dissolved into it so it feels just moist and not as dry as it was before. Okay, so I'm gonna just twist this part up and move on. So bio silk, then coconut oil, then curl and style milk, and then Indian hemp. So I took all the twists out. I decided to just use my hairband around my hair and then I'm just gonna part my hair as I go along. Okay, so here is a straightening brush. It has the on button and then the temperature adjustment button, so the plus and the minus buttons. So the highest that it goes is 450 and then um, I guess the lowest, oh the lowest is 330. So I'm gonna put it at, hmm, I think I'm gonna do 410. <laughs> We'll see. I don't remember. I think the last time I used it at 450. Um, but I'll, today I'll try at 410. And if I need it to be a little bit more straight, then I'm going to put it at 450 to see. So the bristles of the brush get like super hot. So they recommend using it upwards facing away from your face. So it's starting to get like super hot right now. So. I actually think I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down to 390. And this is at 390. So imagine if I put it up to 450, it would be a lot more it'd be a lot more straighter than this. Okay, so here it is. Now the ends aren't able to get as straight because I'm not really able to like hold it all the way down, but I think it does the job. So I have to say that I really love this brush. Um, 
I think it works very well and I definitely recommend it to you guys if you're looking for a quick way to like straighten your hair. Um, I know blow drying 4C hair can be a hassle sometimes and that's one of the main reasons why I bought this straightening brush. Um, even though it doesn't get my hair bone straight, I like that it's still it's still straight enough for me to work with. And it'll be easy if I wanted to flat iron it, but I I really like how straight it is right now. I honestly didn't think it would work the first time I tried it, but it actually works very well. So, so the only con that I have with this brush is that it's actually a brush and some of your hair will get stuck to the bristles as you're like brushing and pulling on your hair so I wouldn't recommend using this like every day but if you do get this just be aware that it's gonna take out some of your hair not all of your hair but like just a few strands as you keep brushing it So this is how it's coming out. Okay, so I know it looks like I'm doing a lot of passes through my hair, but depending on your hair and how thick it is, you can do less passes than I am doing. It's not, you don't necessarily have to pass this through your hair as much as I am doing it. So with this brush, you're definitely getting a blowout type of look. It's not going to be bone straight. Unless your hair is a little bit looser, then it might come out a little bit straighter for you. But for me, it's just giving me a blowout look. And I think it's perfect for what it is. But I'm also using the brush at 330. So if I use it at a higher temperature, then the hair would come out a little bit more straight. fascinating how my hair can just shrink up to like two inches and then it stretches out to its full length like it's crazy said earlier you're basically getting a blowout unless you use it on a higher heat level which I did um, before so because I did use a lot of heat last time I'm just trying to minimize the amount of heat I'm using on my hair this time this is actually perfect because I achieved the same look as I would with the blow dryer but this is just way quicker so thumbs up for that okay so this is some of the hair stuck in the brush I need to find time and clean it out but overall I really love this brush for stretching out my hair I just love how it takes such a short amount of time to get my hair stretched out um, and I also really like how it ranges in temperature so you can use it at a low temperature or really high one if you want your hair a little bit more straight um, I'm not sure if other brushes just have like a on and off button I think that would actually be weird but I think this is really good with giving you the flexibility of choosing how much heat you want to apply to your hair. Um, the style of this brush is really good. I like it. I just don't like that it's white because all my grease and all the stuff I just put in my hair is just going to change the color. I would really like, oh my god, in Styler, if you guys are listening, I would love if this came in like a black or purple or gray I think that would be perfect so that the white doesn't start like fading off you know but other than that I really I don't have anything bad to say about this brush um 
it's inevitable that some of your hair is going to come out as you brush. Because if you use any regular brush, that's just what's going to happen. So that's just something to get used to. But I would definitely make sure that your hair is completely detangled so that when you use a brush, it's much easier to pass through. Mine wasn't all the way detangled. Um, I waited too long after washing it, so it started drying up. But I would definitely recommend you detangling your hair more so that this process is a bit easier for you. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very useful. And don't forget to leave me any comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!